Welcome back, it's Dan and Sal with forward John Quinville. In the last episode, we talked about defensive board work. This episode, I want to pick your brain about what you do in the offensive zone, on the forward check, rims, especially when that puck comes around, because sometimes when you're on your off wing, it's tough. So, yep. you know, show the kids at home yeah, and absolutely. talk about that. Yeah, so in the offensive zone, it's pretty much the same, except we want to get the puck off the wall as soon as we can, right? And there's always going to be someone after you, especially at this level, there's always going to be someone after you. So in the offensive zone, you're looking to get, get the puck off the wall and create yourself a little time and space as quick as you can to make a play or get to the net. All right, John, we're in the offensive zone now. What are some of the key points and tips for protecting the puck on the wall? Well, in this situation, Dano's going to rim it down. And first things first is I want to create a stop. So I want to, you know, obviously create a stop with the puck, pick it up, get it off the yellow. And then from there, I want to try to create time and space for myself and my teammates. So first things first, to get away from you, you're going to chase me. I'm going to make moves left, right, whatever. Stop up, try to get away from you so I can create a little bit of time and space to make a play. All right. Dano rims it. Show my butt. I'm making a play. I'm turning it out, back, and then I'm driving to the... John, another important play that happens is the offensive rim. I know you don't always want to dump and chase, but a lot of times that happens. How important is it stopping that puck on the yellow when you're the offside winger? Yeah, it's a really important play. Obviously, that's a very dangerous area of the ice in your offensive zone, you know, in between the blue line, top of the circles, that area right there. So obviously, the first thing you want to do when the rim comes around is make sure that you stop it. and. First play you're going to look to do in most uh, situations is bump it to the bottom and hopefully that there's someone there. If not, um, you know, hold on to the puck, shield it, and you know, make a play from there. Okay, in this play here, Dano's going to rim it. I'm going to play the defenseman, and I'm going to come put pressure on yep. you when that rim comes around. I know... I know, John, that seems simple, but it's a very difficult play, and like you said, very important. Yeah, absolutely. A really important play. I mean, um, any turnovers in that area of the ice are very costly. The teams are, um, you know, especially at this level, forwards are looking to get that puck just like me when I'm playing in the other team's zone. I'm looking to get those pucks and go the other way. So uh, it's a really important play, and you've got to bear down and make sure you make those plays. All right. Well, thanks again, John. Very important stuff. Working on the wall there, so important, both sides of the ice. Less is more, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs>